guys, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. I am here for part three of my 2015 most reached for products. If you have not seen part one or part two, I will have them linked so you can go check those out and let's just jump into it. Let's just go. This is going to be kind of my randoms. I did face face and lip in the first one, eyes took up the second video, and now this is going to be kind of my brushes, perfume things, anything like that, hair stuff. So let's go. I have everything in a bucket, so if you see me reaching, that's why. To start, I have to, I have to mention this. This is my Veramona color switch. I love this, I love this product. This one has taken down me cleaning my brushes, which I know is disgusting, but it also helps when I have a favorite brush that I just don't wanna clean it all the time, I don't have time to clean it all the time, that you just take it and I'm just grabbing a random brush and you swirl it in here and it pulls all the pigment out so that you can use it again. And you can go from black to white or whatever you wanna do with the colors. It just makes it so easy to be able to do that. And I just saw that they will now be selling this at Sephora. I got mine at IMATS last year, but um, that's really awesome that they're selling it at Sephora. And I just think it's a, it's a really great concept. It's great when you're on makeup jobs, like I did some weddings, and it just makes it really great to go from one color to another. So absolutely love that. So let's go into like makeup tools, face tools, things like that. I mentioned this last year and that is the uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I love this. I also tried the Beauty Blender this year. I love them both. I actually like the shape. I want them to be like married and be the same shape. Like it's weird to explain, but I really like the flat edge of this. I think it's really great, but I also really like the rounded edge of this one. I use this one today, that's why it's so fluffy. But I also like the pointed end, like it should have like three sides like that or something. I don't know, but I love these. I highly recommend you getting some kind of sponge, either this one or this one, because these are the two best on the market. This one's way cheaper. This one's expensive, but they're both really good. But I highly recommend you get one of these to apply your foundation. It's just magical. That's it, there's magic. These have magic in them. They give you an airbrushed finish. They, if you put too much on or anything, they can help soak it up if you need it to. It just is a fantastic job of blending out your foundation. You can apply powder with these. If you've got a little ham on your blush, you can take this over it to take it down. They're just these little magical things that you should own, you should. If, if you're worried about trying a sponge, go for this one. They sell these, they're like five or six bucks. You can even get a two pack for 11, so do it. Do yourself a favor, get those. Some face brushes that I wanna mention. First, this is the Lorac Contour Brush. Now this came with the Pro Palette. You cannot buy this separately, it just came with the palette. I love this. I think this is a fantastic brush. It's like dense and soft all at the same time. It's very thin. And what I like to do is I draw out my contour line and then I blend it up and sometimes I even go like this way to kind of blend it. I look a little harsh today, but but I love it. I also really love this for contouring my nose because just the way that it's shaped makes it really easy to do that. So I definitely love that. I think it's a great brush. It comes with a palette. Like I said, you can't buy it by itself, but it's a good, it's a good brush. Sometimes when you get palette brushes, they're not good, but that one is. This is the Serenity Scott number four brush. This is fantastic. I love this. This is also great for contouring or even applying your blush, blah, your blush. It's just a really soft, I love the angle of it. I love the cut of it. It has held up really well through washing. I just think this is a really great brush. I'd love to try more brushes from them, honestly, because this one's just super, super soft. So next I'm gonna give a shout out to my e.l.f. blush brush, which I also mentioned in last year's 2014 favorites. This brush is fantastic. I love it. I love it actually for setting my under eye, but I've seen some people, um, Elise from the Bubblegum Princess, she does her highlight with this. I, you could do your contour with it. However you want to make this brush work for you, it is $3 and you will find ways to use it because it's so versatile. You could apply your blush with it. I think it's a little small for blush, but for under eye, for contour, for highlight, I think it's wonderful. So definitely a great, and I've had this for a while and it, it's held up really well for a $3 brush. So love it. 
Along the lines of that, this again is a brush that I mentioned in last year's most reached for, and this is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. So it looks like this. This is wonderful for blending out cream products, especially um, like a cream bronzer, a cream blush, anything like that. I mentioned in my favorite or my most reached for face products, the Maybelline Master Glaze Sticks. This is wonderful for, for blending that out. It's just the size of it is great. Like it's not like this is like the Sigma stipple brush. It's huge. So for blush, that's kind of big, but this just is really great for blending that out. So love that. Next brush I want to mention is the Real Techniques setting brush. And it looks like this. It's kind of tapered in that way. And it's pinched down at the bottom. This brush is wonderful for either setting your under eye or applying highlight. I think it's really, really wonderful. I actually lost it for a little while and I was so upset because it's such a great brush that it's like dense and fluffy. That I've said that about a few brushes, but there's a fine line where sometimes they're too dense and they pack on too much, or sometimes they're too fluffy and stuff goes everywhere, but this just does a really, really great job of being that middle ground. A few eye brushes that I just wanna give a mention to. The first is the Billion Dollar Brow Smudge Brush. Now, I got this in a kit, but it is sold separately. And if you watched my the part two, it was my most reached for eye products of 2015. I mentioned the Billion Dollar Brow um, Highlight and Conceal Pencil that I use under my brow. So what I do is I draw that there, and then I take this and I kind of blend it out with this. And the, the preciseness of this, it's taper this way so it gets that really precise line there and does a really great job of blending it out. I absolutely love this little brush for it. I don't, any other concealer type brush that I have is like pointed, but I like that this is like blunt cut at the top. So they do sell that individually. You can get it at Kohl's, but I did get it part of a billion dollar brow kit also from Kohl's, but you can get it separately if you don't want the whole kit. The next set of eye brushes I want to talk about, I feel actually kind of bad talking about these because I have no idea where they're from. I got these as a kit from my sister-in-law like a couple Christmases ago, but these are the brushes I reach for the most out of all my brushes and I, I don't even know what brand they are. I don't think that they were super expensive. I got like a whole kit of them, but they they look like this. They don't say anything on them, so I, I really don't even know. But I love these flat brushes. I absolutely love them. These are so great for packing on shadows. Like they just, they do a great job of picking up pigment and just like pressing them on, whether it's a ColourPop shadow, whether it's a loose pigment, whether it's a Makeup Geek foiled shadow or any other eyeshadow that I own. These just do a really fantastic job of packing on that shadow. So I have a bunch in this like normal shape like that. This one's really great. It's thinner and I love this for the inner corner just to get some highlight in there. And then this is actually the one that I use to do my brows with the NYX um, brow, what did I say? It was the NYX gel eyeliner that I mentioned in my last video that this is just super thin like as opposed to where are you? I don't know if I can find it. Oh, so this is like the Sigma sm or small angle E65. And you can see the difference. Like the Sigma one is just fatter than this one is. This one's just so thin that it makes it really great for just making a nice precise line with it. So I'm sorry that I don't know where these are from or, or what brand they are or anything. If you see anything like them, I really love I really love them and I really really like the shape this format they're they're the brushes I reach for all the time every time I do my makeup these are the ones that I use two blending brushes that I want to mention this one I mentioned last year and it is the Sigma E40 if you guys watch my tutorials I use this all the time this is perfect for that transition color it's soft it's wonderful it works Enough said. Next one, I got this this year and I want to get actually another one of these. It is the Blend Sigma E25. It's just called the blending brush. So this is great because it's tapered this way. It's pinched at the bottom. And this is really great for a little bit more concentrated work in the crease. Whereas this one, it just gets some color really lightly, fluffily, fluffily down. And then this, you really just kind of get in there and pack some more punch with it while still blending it. It's not 
as dense as application as these ones are, not as fluffy as an application of these. So it's kind of that middle ground and it, it works so wonderfully. This last brush I haven't had for very long, but I totally love it. And I actually got this at my local craft store. I got it at Michael's and it is the Royal and Lang Nickel number six brush. It's silver like this and it is just this flat brush, blunt cut like that. I love this for applying shadow right along that lash line. It just does a great job. It's not super, super stiff, but it really just lets me wiggle right up in there and then I'll like blend it out, but I just love the application. I love, it's really a lightweight brush, so definitely a favorite. Definitely, once I got it, I use it all the time on my lower lash line now. Continuing on with some random favorites, this stuff is like all over the map, but they're just things that I never talk about it that I use all the time. First off is the Sonia Kashuk Eye Makeup Remover. I, this is a brand new one. I've been using the Neutrogena one and I don't like it as much as this one. I have probably repurchased this four times this year because I love it. I You shake it up and it just gets everything off of your eyes. I mentioned this last year, it was the most reached for then and it, although I've tried other stuff, this is it, this is my winner. I toy, it doesn't burn my eyes, it just gets everything off. It does have like an oil base, I think, to it, so you will feel, feel that oil, oiliness, but I love it, I think it's fantastic. I also wanna mention the Neutrogena Makeup Wipe. I don't have any to show because I'm using a different brand right now, but if I can insert a clip, I will. Those were also ones that I mentioned last year. I just love the way that they take off all of my makeup. They don't burn, they're not too moist, they're not too dry, they're just the perfect concentration of remover on them, and they just feel really nice. So I think they do a great job of taking off my makeup, and I love them. Along the lines of skincare, I have to give a shout out to my Oil of Olay face lotion. This is the original in the pink tube, or pink bottle. I love this stuff. I mentioned this last year, and, and I have had quite a few repeats from last year, which that just attests to how much I love these products. I don't know how many of these I have gone through. I always buy it. I'm always trying out through like my subscription Prescription services or samples, other lotions, but this is the one I go back to. When it comes down to it, this is the one that I keep purchasing. I haven't found anything high-end or drugstore that I like more than this. I just love what it does for my skin. I also have to mention this product was so cool when I got this this year. This is the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. And it looks like this, and I think I may have mentioned this in a favorites in the past, but it is just the coolest thing Let's see if I can kind of show you, but it comes out in like a gel form like that. And then as you start to rub it in, let me just give it a second. It'll start to foam. There it goes. See it start to foam there? This is real time. There is no fast forwarding. It starts to foam there. And what I have to say about this is I love this. I use this in the shower. I was using it before, like, I wasn't always using it in the shower, but I started using it in the shower, and I just love what it does for my skin. It's not like the mud masks or the hydrating masks or anything like that where it's like sucking things out of you or putting moisture in, but it just, it says it releases oxygen molecules and detoxifies. And what I find is, first off, the smell is really great. I really love the smell of it but it just gives my skin a boost. Like it just makes my skin glowier, it makes my skin look healthier, and it just feels nice. It does this like little tingly thing as it's starting to foam, and it just feels really good. So I love it. Um, I don't know how much it is, but I can't, like I can't remember, but you can get this at Kohl's. They sell Bliss at Kohl's, and I just think it's a really wonderful boost. And you can use this, like it's not like a mud mask where you can only use so much, like you can use this every time you shower or anything like that, so totally love that. Another most reached for product of mine is the Neutrogena Fast Absorbing Hand Cream, and it looks like this, and I'm actually thinking I'm almost out of it. I can't even tell you how many times I have repurchased this and I get hand creams or things like that in my subscriptions all the time. But this one is the one that I repurchase. I love this. It, and the problem is it's super hard to find. You usually see the one that it's all white, which is not the fast absorbing one. This is the fast absorbing one. So it goes into your skin, it hydrates, it feels really good, not greasy or anything. I absolutely love this. It's a total most reached for. I also wanna give a shout out, let's just, a couple of hair products I wanna mention. 
in June, in June I dyed my hair red and my um, hairstylist used this on me and I immediately went out and bought it. This is the Goldwell Dual Sense Color extra rich it looks like this now it's a little shaken up but normally it's a little bit separated with like an oil base on top and then a little bit darker on the bottom I use this all the time all the time like even just to kind of like I don't really even know what it does but I feel like it helps with the prolonging of my color of the red in my hair and it just kind of zhuzhes like it just kind of when my hair feels really dull I give it like this kind of spritz and it just like makes it look alive again. Like I, it adds a little bit of shine without looking greasy. I put this in when my hair is wet. I put it in when my hair is dry. I absolutely love this. As long as I continue to have red hair, I will continue to buy this and use this because I just think it is fantastic. I want to give a mention to this little headband. I think I got this at a five below, but I love this because I wear this a lot when I do my makeup because it doesn't put a kink, like it's not super tight, but it pulls my hair out of my face, but doesn't give a kink in my hair. So I don't even know what brand it is, but I recommend like things like that if your hair gets kind of annoying and in your face, so love it. And this is kind of dirty. Hold on, let me clean it super quick. I want to give a shout out to the wet brush. I love this brush. This is fan this has been my brush. I use this all the time. It's fantastic on wet hair, on dry hair. It doesn't get knotty. It doesn't break my hair. It's it just works really well. And they're I think they're like seven or eight dollars. So I totally love these. Highly recommend them. Most reached for also is jamberries. This is what I've been wearing this whole year, jamberries. I have jamberries on my middle and thumb finger today. And it's so funny because when I actually switch over and wear nail polish, I'm like, I hate nail polish. Where are my jamberries? I've had nail polish on my other fingers for this past week. And I've had to retouch it about four times. Jamberries I put on, they last me at least a full week and mostly into a second week. Like I can usually get about 10 days of wear, if not longer. Whereas regular nail polish, it's like day two I'm chipping. So I love jamberries. I think they're fantastic. I love them. They are time consuming, but so is waiting for your nails to dry. So pick your battles. So something I never talk about on my channel is actually perfume because I'm not a huge perfume person except I have so many little samples from like orders or anything. So I have three that have like been my standouts. They are my most reach, reached for. This first one is um, Harvey Prince's Hello. I got this in a sample or BoxyCharm, I think it was, and I think I've gotten it in an Ipsy, and then some one of my friends, she has gotten it, and she doesn't like it, so she gave it to me. I love this. I think it's a great scent. I'm not even going to try to describe it to you, but I love it, and I, it, I'm i almost done. I mean, that's how much I use it, and I have other ones of it, too. This one's kind of silly, but I also love it so much. This is Taylor by Taylor Swift. I have this in a rollerball. I just... This is sweet. It does have a bit of a sweet smell to it, but I just really love it. I think it's just very fresh and airy. It was more of like a summer type scent to me, but I just thought it was really great. And I know it doesn't look like I, I used it a lot, but I was constantly like putting it on and stuff. So a little bit goes a long way. And the last one I want to mention, this is Rihanna's, but I don't know which one it is. Crud. I can't see which one it is, but it's in the black tubing. Like she has one in red, one in nude. This is in the black tubing. I This is like my going out at night. This is like a deeper type of scent. It's not as sweet as this one is. It's got like a little bit more muskier type of scent to it, but not like manly musky, just like, like, ooh, I'm going out tonight. That one, so. I've used a bit of that one too. They're they're definitely like my most reached for. I use other ones, but those are my tried and trues. <laughs> and finally, my final most reached for product is the chapstick and candy cane. <laughs> I love this sucker. I don't know what it is, but it feels so good on the limbs. It's a really smooth consistency. I just always go back to it. I have a bunch of in this in um, candy cane specifically. I love it. It's like minty, but not minty because it's like that peppermint candy cane thing. So definitely, definitely love it. That's it, 
guys, we made it. If you made it through all three parts of these videos, give yourself a good old pat on the back and just know that from the bottom of my heart is I truly, truly thank you for taking the time to sit down and watch my videos and supporting little old me on YouTube. I I truly appreciate your viewership. I would love if you felt that you wanted to subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up and I will be sure to do monthly favorites. I won't do weekly, but I will do monthly favorites if you if I get enough thumbs up. I'll probably do it anyway, but give it a thumbs up anyway. So thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart for watching. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye channel, I am here for part two of my 2015 Most Reach for Products.